Cool. So the title is Winning 2021. It starts now, and I always want to tell you that you make it happen. Don't wait. Too many times we wait for things to happen, and that's a big mistake. So Winning 2021 starts now, and today, after you listen to this, but also right now, I want us to put our hands in and say, hey, I make it happen. I make it happen. I make it happen. I make it happen. So whatever you want your year to be, we decide right now what that year is going to be. So this is called why, why a winner wins, why winners win, why, why a winner wins, right? They're focused, they're clear, they're consistent, they're not over leveraged, and they're committed to win. You have to be committed to win. A lot of people today, they don't talk about winning as a favorable thing, but to be great at anything, there's a level of competition that has to be present. You have to be focused, you have to be clear, you have to be consistent, and you cannot be over leveraged. If you're over leveraged, you're gonna feel constant pressure, constant stress, constant anxiousness that's gonna present itself, and we can't have that if we wanna be great. In all my years of watching some of the top performers in sports work, you know, there's a saying where they have ice in their veins. You know, you think of a player like a Derek Jeter, you think of a Mariano Rivera, and you say, ice in their veins. They perform under times of pressure as if they have ice in their veins. And the reason they're able to do that is because they're not over leveraged. They're not trying to do too much. These guys had very, very simple routines, and that's what I want to share with you today, how you could do it too, and how you can ad adopt a similar mentality and attitude so people can say the same about you and you can feel the same way about yourselves, that you have ice in your veins. No matter how big the moment is, you're able to execute because you're focused, you're clear, you're consistent, you're not over leveraged, and you have committed to win. But if we're going to know why winners win, we're going to have to know why losers lose. And losers lose because they're not focused, they're not clear, they're not consistent, they are constantly over leveraged and they're not committed to win. And you have to be committed to win if you're going to make it. But if you're not focused, you're not clear, you're not consistent, and you're living in a state of over leveraged, trying to do too much, trying to be too much, scattered, you don't know what to focus on. You get to your desk, you know, you're saying, what do I focus on today? You're not clear on where it is you're going. And here's the thing. I want to talk about being clear about where it is that you're going. You may not know all the steps to get to where it is that you want to go. But if you don't know where it is that you want to go, you're constantly going to be meandering. You're going to be doing too many things because you're trying to do things to figure out where it is that you should be. So you have to really take some time and say, where is it that I'm trying to go this month, this quarter, this year? Don't worry so much about the five-year goal, the 10-year goal, the 20-year goals. See, I've heard people say that they're working on their 20-year goal. They're working on their 10-year goal. They're working on their five-year goal. And it's funny because last year I have a client and, and he's an amazing guy. You know, he's a billionaire. And I said, I have to ask you this question. Do you know, do you set five-year goals? And he said, listen, I'm lucky if I know where I'm going to be in two weeks. So... I just wanted to put that out there. You could have a vision for yourself. And I think that's super important. You know, what do you want your life to look like? Where do you want to be living? What, what are you working for? But don't worry about creating perfection in that model right now. Just set a vision for yourself and say, hey, right now, this year, 2021, where am I looking to go? What am I looking to build? What am I looking to create? And make that something that's not crazy, right? There's a lot of talk about, you know, whatever your number is, 10 exit, or there's, there's this uh, almost salesmanship around building something that's so big. But don't ester underestimate what you can do over the next five years, 10 years, 15 years, but you gotta stay focused on what you're doing today and then what you're doing tomorrow. And that 10 to 15 years will build itself. So something I always say is, think about winning today. Your mantra for 2021 should be win today. Did I win today? What does a win for today mean to me? And that's what we're going to go over today. I'm going to introduce you to what I call target practice, right? Winners hit the bullseye. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to hit the bullseye every day 
So you can say, I won today. And there's a personal bullseye and I say there's a professional bullseye. And most, most people, when it comes to their personal bullseye, it's relationship driven, it's health and fitness, exercise driven, nutrition driven, and it's mindset driven. From the mindset standpoint, hey, I wanna be positive, I wanna be optimistic, I don't wanna live in stress, I don't wanna live in fear, I don't wanna have doubts, I wanna be in a good frame of mind so I can drive success and drive results this year. When it comes to your fitness, hey coach, I want to lose X amount of pounds. I want to be this body fat. I want to improve my endurance. I want to be more flexible. I want to take the tension out of my body, right? These are the goals that people have in their personal bullseye. Relationships, I want a better relationship with my significant other. I want a better relationship with my kids. I want better relationships with friends. I want to make time for them this year. This is what most people say is in their personal bullseye. These are the areas that they want to get better at. Then you have your professional bullseye. I want growth. I want progress. I want progression. I want to feel like I'm growing every day, every week, every month, every quarter. I want to be presented with challenge because the challenge allows me to grow and progress and move forward through my journey. I want recognition. If I grow, I progress, I get results, I want to be recognized. That's what people have in their professional journey or their professional bullseye. That's what they desire. Recognition, growth, progress. From the financial side, more deal flow and more financial gain. This is, again, when we go to pursue professional interests, we should always want to be excellent at what we do. We should always want to be our best at what it is that we do. And we get there through constant growth and progression, recognition, and then by constantly generating more deal flow, which will lead to you the financial gain. So if you nail those three professionally, you're going to be where you want to be. Personally, better relationships, better health and fitness, and a better mindset you're going to be where it is that you want to be. And that sets you up for the win in 2021. It'll set you up for the win in 22, 23, 24. It'll continue to set you up for the win. So as we talk through today, what we want to do is put a process in place for you to build better relationships, improve your health and fitness, have a better mindset, growth and progress every day, get recognition, and improve your deal flow and overall financial gain as a result of you pursuing what it is that you want to pursue this year. So I say you got to know your bullseye. You have to know what sits in your bullseye. And I talk about the bullseye as the activities that you need to do each day, what sits in there, the things that you need to do every day, which are your fundamentals, that when performed to excellence, when executed each and every day, you will move down the field. You will get closer to that vision that you're clear about and the achievements that you're looking to achieve this year in 2021. And I break that down. I say, listen, I used to tell my players this. I still tell my athletes this. And I tell my executives this and leaders and everybody that I coach, you got to have your big three and big five. The three to five things that you do every single day that are your fundamentals. You know, this is the equivalent of taking ground balls, playing catch and taking batting practice in baseball. It's the equivalent of taking free throws every day in the NBA. This, these are the fundamental things that you need to do every single day. And this bullseye, the center of this target, it represents your daily fundamental habits and behaviors. So if we know what you're doing every day, and you know what you have to do every single day, over time, the repetitive nature of executing on your daily fundamentals will not just give you confidence, but it'll give you the results that you're looking for. So when you put together your big three to big five, they should be totally aligned with who you are and what you're looking to achieve. And I'm gonna share mine with you right now. So for me, I wanna connect with people every single day. And I do that through writing my blog. I, I love to write. That's what inspired me to write this book habits of a champion, right? I wanted to create a book that people could connect with and identify with. 
So I write every single day. I start my day by writing my blog. It takes me about 20 minutes. Then I go right to the gym. Then I start my first meal of the day, clean eating, all scheduled. Next, I go into my coaching for the day. I coach individuals. I coach companies. Today, I'm coaching you. And then I try to create two new connections each day. Maybe one's in person, one's through LinkedIn. And I continue to do this routine every single day, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday. So if you were to ask me, coach, did you get your blog, workout, eat clean, coach individuals and companies and get your connections in today? I would tell you, yes, those are my checkpoints for success. So we have to have your big three to big five. You can see I have five things that I do every single day. But coach, what about things outside of that? I don't do those things until these are completed. I can't. Now, if I have a space in my schedule, I can include something else. If I've gotten you know, to the point where I, I wrote the blog, I did the workout, I've eaten my first meal, the second one scheduled, third one scheduled, great. And I have coaching, but I have a, an hour gap in between. I could either take that gap to chill out and recover for the next uh, bout of coaching that I have to do. Or maybe I, I'm working on a book right now and I'm writing a chapter of that book. Or maybe I have a couple errands and things that I have to catch up on um, for some other ventures that I'm involved with. That's, I squeeze that in, but everything has to, to, to be performed once these tasks are done. So you have to know what sits in the middle of your bullseye. So I can very clearly articulate these five things lead me to where it is that I want to go. They lead me to my vision over time. When I write the blog, I get more people interested in coaching. I get more companies interested in coaching and speaking. I sell more books. And I continue to promote the positive message, the champion's message, I call it, the champion's gospel. And then I have my daily workout. That keeps me energized every single day. The fuel, same thing, keeps me energized. And then my passion is coaching. And then my other passion is connecting because I'm very aware of the power of people. So let's think about for yourself, what what are your three to five? What are your big three, big five things that you need to do that, that may not directly lead to your success today, but they will directly lead to your success over time, the achievement of your goals. Think about it for you. And I always start this by saying, what do you need to do for you to be great? And if you have 10, 15 things that, that, that you may put on your bullseye, it's too many. You have to condense to three to five because that's the only way you'll be consistent or else you'll get burnt out trying to do too many different things. Some people say, coach, is it okay if I have a big three that's personal and a big three that's professional? Absolutely. For me, I just blend them. So the blog for me is professional. The workout is personal. The eating clean is personal. The coaching of individuals and companies is professional. And number five, the connection piece is also professional. So for you, think about it. You can have two circles if you want, if that helps you to say, hey, when I start my day, I have my personal, I have my professional, and I execute on those. However you want to do it. I keep a lot of, what I do is I keep note cards on my desk and it keeps me organized on my professional and my personal journey. But for you, again, put your big three, big five front and center. So you know that you have to do it every single day. Now, I want to talk to you real quickly about how you eat, we can get in trouble. So these red arrows mean we're working outside of our personal or professional big three. And whenever we work outside of our target, of the center of our bullseye, we become at risk. So those red sort of symbols are symbolic of we're at risk. So the more time you spend outside of those big three to big five, the more trouble you can get in. Because let's use email for an example. If you start your day and you didn't get the fundamentals of your big three in, and now you start, you're in email world, and now you start drifting into the next thing, and then the next first problem presents itself, you've mixed your big three for the day, personally and or professionally most likely, and it's gonna get you in big trouble because you're gonna to start to feel, I don't get anything done, I'm lost, 
I'm not moving forward. I'm not progressing. All I do is deal with problems all day. And that's only because you're outside of your bullseye. So you have got to train yourself, condition yourself, create habits that allow you to execute on your targets first before you play outside of these circles and outside of these bullseyes. Got it? This is a very important slide because the red is indication of warning. Be careful. It's not safe out here because it'll take you away from those fundamentals. And again, every day, you know, I, I got a chance to watch some really, really great players up close for many, many years. And I see what they did and I see what they do. And the reactivity is not in their game. They execute on fundamental skills and habits and behaviors every single day, and it gets them to where they want to be. So if you do catch yourself out here, very quickly, you want to reverse those arrows and move yourself back to your professional big three or your personal big three. And this is also important because you can ask yourself a question when you start to feel maybe stressed or overworked, or, you know, you're in this land where you don't feel that great about, you know, you incorporated or even the business or the team that you're leading, whatever it may be, just ask yourself, am I engaging in the big three or am I outside? And the chances are you're outside. So all you got to do is reverse those arrows and get back on your task. And what's great about this is you're not searching for what you have to do every day. You know what you have to do every day. And that takes you from a defensive posture to an offensive posture. When you're out here, you're playing defense. But when you're here, you're playing offense. When you're in that circle and you're attacking that bullseye every single day, you're in a great position for success. And I say winners always find their way back to the center of the bullseye. That's what makes a winner win. It's like you hear about stories of, of folks that, ha that, that have done really well and they may go bankrupt. Here's what bankruptcy is. You're outside of your bullseye. You got too far outside. You didn't reverse the arrows. And therefore, you didn't get back to the center of the bullseye. But we also realize this. There's a saying that says, winners win. Always bet on a winner. Because what winners do is they always find their way back here. Because they've identified the personal and professional big three, the things that they need to do every day that yield results. And they're very consistent in those behaviors. And because of that, they get the results they want. The other thing that winners do is they use the stacking principle to keep themselves centered. So let me tell you about the stacking principle. The stacking principle is stack and complete all big three, big five activities together in a sequential daily plan so there's no delay in execution, but instead consistent daily execution. Perform the big three to big five in a grouping. So what does that mean? Simply this, stack your fundamental power activities. Stack them together. If you start spacing them out, you create a chance for you to go into the danger zone. Hear me out. Many people say, I'll work out later. They have competitive jobs. They have competitive positions. They may run the company, whatever it may be. And all that work, they take it on and they never get to that third, fourth, or fifth thing that they need to do. That's an essential part of them being great. So what I say is when you start your day, attack your big three to big five first. Like I shared with you how I do my day. I get up, blog, workout, eat clean, right into coaching. That's how we do it. And then later in the day, my, the activity I probably spend the least amount of time in is the connection piece of, of two people. Cause I usually always have people reaching out to me. So that comes easy. But for you, stack, stack. This is what worries me when people say, oh, I work out late in the day. You may feel better working out later in the day. That's okay. But I'd rather you move it up to the front of the day to create better consistency. And then you actually have a better chance of getting a second workout or training session in later. So the stacking principle, it works because it keeps all your success building activities linked together. And then how do you feel when you get those done? You feel accomplished. You feel good about yourself. 
confidence is elevated and that builds momentum for you to say, Hey, what's next? Give it to me. But you get these things done every day. These are your everyday fundamentals. So I want to hit you with the game rules to winning 2021. Do less of everything, but do more of your IPAs and your MVAs. I call those your income producing activities and your most valuable activities, which really translate to your big three to big five. That's what should be in there. Be consistent in less. So many of us, we get spooked. We get nervous. We feel like we're not doing enough. I got to do more. I'm not doing enough. So we start doing all of these things that are outside of our bullseye because it makes us feel like we're doing, but we're not. We're actually taking ourselves away from our core competency. So you got to be consistent in less. Execute on your big three to big five. They get done, like I said, through the stacking principle before anything else. Success happens with consistency in the basic fundamentals also known as your big three to big five. Your big three, big five are your basic fundamentals, but they should also be your income producing activities and your MVAs, which are your most valuable activities. And when you get this right, it keeps you out of danger. It keeps you out of danger. It moves you to the center of the bullseye. You know why you're winning. The wins stack up. You apply the stacking principle. You're doing less BS and more. IPAs and MVAs, you're feeling consistent, you're feeling good. And you know what you're going to say? For the first time, I actually have time. I don't feel stressed. I don't feel over leveraged. And remember, when we go all the way back to the front here, as to why winners win, they're focused, they're clear, they're consistent, they're not over leveraged, and they're committed to winning. And that's where you can be when you hit the center of the bullseye. You're focused on your big three to big five. You stay out of danger. You reverse the arrows when you get into some potential danger because we do drift and we use the stacking principle. So these are your game rules for 2021. And I wanted to share this with you. And, and you know me how I present for those of you that have been on my, my uh, workshops, webinars before. I always pick a singular concept. Today was the big three, big five, centered around the bullseye, keeping you out of danger. But today, I want, this is what I want you to run with. Run with your big three to big five. So before you engage back in your activity for the day, whatever it may be, spend a minute and say, where am I going? That's my big vision for the year. What is it that I want to do? And what are the big three to five activities that I need to do every day that make me feel great, that give me that IPA? It's an it's a income-producing activity. It's a most valuable activity. Determine what those are for you. I shared mine with you. I hope you share my, uh, yours with me once you get them going. But everything we do, whenever you allot time for education and to further um, you know, grow yourself, make sure you're getting things that you could apply. Like this is, this, you can apply this now. You could apply this right away. These are my big three to five. Let me do it. And since you're connected, like I'm so connected to my big three, big five, that I don't miss. I have no reason to miss. I look forward to doing them. I'm excited to do them. And it, it takes my focus more off of outcome and it dials me right into my day to day. And, you know, I would always say when you approach a 162 game baseball season, that's a lot but you play one game at a time. And before you know it, you're looking back, you're at game 162 of 162. It's amazing. But you do the same things day in and day out. And that's always what impresses me about those that achieve massive success in sports and or business. They can be consistent, consistent, consistent more than anybody. And you can too. And for those of you that are in business, you all know that executive that's just killing themselves. They're they're working to a level where you just know that that plane is going to crash on them. And then you see the other one that just success over time, success over time, success over time. And that's really what the big three to big five is about. That's what the stacking principle is about. It's about success over time. And that's what I, that's what I want for all of you. So thank you for spending time with me here. I always enjoy doing this next week. I have another fun webinar that we're going to do again, 25 minutes, nothing more that talks about um, knowing what triggers success for you. 
It's about success triggers. So if you enjoyed this, I, I hope you did. Reach out to me, say hello. Uh, thanks for coming on. I'm going to reach out to all of you. I'm going to send you an email and let you know, hey, it's up on YouTube. If you like it, share it. And thanks for hanging with me. And if you ever need coaching of any kind, I'm here for you. I'm here for your company. Make sure you reach out. And uh, as you all know, I always say I, I, I'm in the business of building champions. And I hope I have 16 champions that I built today. So thank you. And uh, thanks for being a part of my workshop. Thanks for being a part of my life. And, and thank you all for, uh, for hanging with me today. So if you have any questions, uh, I'm happy to be here and answer any. And um, if not, thank you. <laughs> cool. So in the chat, I have uh, some questions or some, some nice words. Thank you, Drew, very much. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Lawrence. And uh, again, if you guys ever need anything, reach out. I gave you my email. You have it. That's direct. You know, there's no, there's no curtains that sit in front. Just reach out. Thanks so much, Joe. Ruth, thank you, as always, for being a part of this. Ruth and the, the RK team. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much, everybody. And I'll, I'll send an email to you, and I'll let you know when this is ready. So, um, and I'll also, what I'll do is I'll put the slides in a PDF so that you can uh, reference these and use it as a reference. Use this as you go through your year. I'm telling you, you're going to hit times where you may drift outside of your bullseyes. It's normal. I do it too. You know, I may get excited about something and then I say, you know what? I'm excited about this. I'm going to do some testing here, but I know that, that the game is won. By staying in those bullseyes. And I'm telling you, having coached people for so many years, it is really hard for many folks to stay, uh, to stay in the bullseye. Jen, thank you so much. Uh, pulled out my bullseyes. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you did that activity in, in the blog. That's why I wanted to follow up um, with this week. So, Bill, I'm going to post this for future views. Yeah, I'm going to put it on YouTube and I will, um, I'll send it. Uh, I'll send an email to everybody, like I said, that was on today, and, um, and I'll let you know when that's up. So, all right, I got to continue along doing my coaching. I have a few more sessions today that I'm excited about, and uh, thank you all again, as always, for taking the time, and I will see you. We're going to do another one next week. It's going to be fun, another fun one, short and sweet. So I'll see everybody next week. Thank you again. Enjoy your day. Go out there and win. And um, if I didn't tell you and Bill Gentry didn't tell you, we love you guys. See ya. <laughs>